still have it? How are you after the loss? I know you had a surgery. That's how you answer the call. Tiafimo Lopez Sr. ringside saw that performance. Moments so ago, he be... told our Bernardo Osuna, we will have the rematch. Yes, we'll do it, but it has to be next after our title defense because we're going up to 140 pounds. That guy wants his belts back. So you hear this? Um, Tiafimo Lopez has re-upped his contract with a uh, top rank in the men of it. He's supposed to return against George Cambosos August the 14th. Um, Nakatani, Mashiyoshi Nakatani has just been stopped. What round is this? Round number eight or nine. He got beat up the whole entire fight. I'm talking about Loma completely. Uh, not only outclassed him, but beat him up. Something that I didn't expect at all. Lomachenko is back. And this is how a good, great fighter comes back from a defeat. Get him out of there. Please subscribe, take your time out, like the video. Yo, this was a very, ex this was an extremely, extremely impressive performance by the former multi-division champion. And I have more confidence now that we'll see a Tiafimo versus Lomachenko too. And I think it's going to be on pay-per-view. Look, I, 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 look, that's what we want. I think that it's happening. I think it's going to happen. He was loving it apparently. I had I had thought it was gonna be here. I thought it was gonna be Josh Taylor Tiafimo. But it's looking like it may be Terrence Crawford versus Josh Taylor next in October. And then Loma versus Tiafimo on pay-per-view after Tiafimo versus George Cambosos. If Tiafimo defeats George Cambosos. Mario Barrios and Tank Davis are in the ring. Yo, I'm extremely impressed. He looked really good. And more importantly, he was taking risk. Now, the commentators for ESP and Joe Tessator, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward, were bringing it up that Loma does need to go to the pub body more, but that's more of an Eastern European fighter type of thing. They just don't do it, you know, or not as much as they should, despite them having the skill set. That's just, you know, their makeup during this generation of Eastern European fighters. They're not really, you know, known, you know, to go to the body. But they've been talking about doing all week in the fighter meeting meetings that Lomachenko has been really, really like pushing. Like, I want Tiafima Lopez. I want Tiafima Lopez. Um, his first loss of his career was to. My bad. I was trying to see what they were doing with uh, Nakatani to Orlando Salido. He really, really pushed for that fight. And it was very close to happening. And then Lee, oh, oh crap, I'm still on my chair. Orlando Salido lost his last fight. Oh, wait, and let's listen to the particulars. Seconds of round number Please take a time out, like the video, subscribe. Declaring your winner by technical knockout, Vasily Loma, Loma Trenko. Now, if he doesn't fight, Vasily Lomachenko, 15th win of his career, 11th 135 knockout. is extremely stacked. And the statement he wanted to make. Let's look at our punch of the night. It is brought to you by DraftKings. And Dre, another chance to see how he closed the show. Yeah, just pressure, Ooh. angle, speed. Then the power came at the end when Nakatani least knee. needed it. And there was nothing he can do. And Loma landed a big body shot that led to all of this trouble. He started getting beat up to the head. The and then the fighter goes downstairs. Then they go back upstairs. Got to answer. How do you go answer that if you're Nakatani? There's literally nothing. Yo, you don't see Lomachenko that aggressive, man. You can tell from the very first bell. He really, really was like, yo, I'm not playing around. I want to stop, I want to stop him. You don't see that too much from champions or former champions these days or fighters who come off a loss, you know, especially taking a tough fight. And I've said, you know, on the record pre-fight that if Lomachenko was to dominate, like this was really impressive. And I understand the landscape of boxing. He's not going to get enough credit because they were like, oh, well, Tiafimo Lopez beat him. But Tiafimo Lopez struggled with him. Who's that guy? It must be important. So look, it's looking like it's official, not official, but it's looking like it's going to happen. And I wonder how you feel about it. We got to do a whole stream and live show about this. By the way, we're going to be doing some work with the uh, WBC and working with the WBC channel sponsored by the Vive Network. Um, something I'm going to be doing a video on soon. I hope they don't switch over to Sports Center for the uh, post-fight interview. Oh, we're going to get it. Perfect. 
Perfect. Let's hear what Lomachenko has to say. And also, on Showtime pay-per-view, I'm watching Mario Barrios versus Tank Davis. They are in round number four. Let's listen to what they have to say. And then we can head on over to the uh, Mario Barrios uh, pay-per-view. Excuse me, Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios. And it looks like Tank is having a little bit of problems. For the state of boxing, the post-fight show here from the theater at Virgin Hotels, oh, Las Vegas. You got to go the see the great the 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 three-division world champion, yeah, the two-time go Olympic the gold medalist, the former unified lightweight world champion is being brought back to deal with what he has to do with his medicals with the commission, coming off of his TKO victory. Well, luckily for you guys, I'm recording this. So let's talk about the 135-pound division as a whole. Tifema Lopez came down with COVID. We're just going to leave it at that. Um, franchise WBA Super IBF WBO Ring Magazine 135 pound champion. He is going to be um, taking on George Cambosos as IBF mandatory on uh, August the 14th if that fight stays on that date. Um, uh, you have Basil Lomachenko who's just defeated Nakatani. Don't be surprised if his next fight is a title eliminator or if it's going to be Tiafimo Lopez. But he still has to have an interim fight because if 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 Loma versus Lopez two or Lopez Loma two was to happen, February March March likely of two thousand and twenty two, Loma still has to have a fight between in, even though Tiafimo's only fight would be George Kimbosos. Remember, Loma's already had a fight since they both fought, and Tiafimo hasn't had a fight. You know, and he will in August. Ryan Garcia is on hiatus right now, dealing with mental health issues. Javier Fortuna is going to be taking on Jojo Diaz for the WBC interim title. Tank Davis right now is fighting Mario Barrios, um, heading into round five. And we're not going to be here too long with this because, as you can see, Loma is still doing his medicals. And yeah, Devin Haney is going to be interested to see what he does next because he's also flirting with 140 pounds. And it's looking like, you know, I was wrong. It's looking like we are going to see Tiafimo versus Loma at 135, but it has to happen. You know, they want to listen, the money's there. Might as well get it, close that chapter. And, you know, it'll be on pay-per-view and a pay-per-view to actually sell, not no thriller bullshit. No disrespect to thriller in that way, but I'm saying like, Tiafimo Lopez versus Cambosos, they overpaid for it. The caveat here is it has to happen immediately after the George Cambosos mandatory fight for Tiafimo Lopez. That fight was postponed due to a positive uh, COVID test for Tiafimo Lopez. It's okay, let's rewind still back in the so air with a beat that they are willing to fight Vasily Lomachenko to grant that man the rematch, the man that they obsessed about for two years, the man that they called a shot on that they were going to beat in their 15th professional fight and become a world champion. Well, that is a reality. And now he says, the only caveat here is it has to happen immediately after the George Cambosa's mandatory fight for Teofimo Lopez. That fight was postponed due to a positive uh, COVID test for Teofimo Lopez. It's still in the air, whether it'll be in August or September. But the news here is that the Lopez camp is willing to grant Vasily Lomachenko a rematch, especially after this spectacular performance that we got from him tonight. The news on Teofimo is that right now he is in Italy on vacation with his wife, Cynthia. But once he returns, he'll start camp once again because he's fully healthy after now testing negative for COVID-19, Joe. Well, that's uh, further news. that. So basically, they can have the fight in December. You know, it has happened. Remember, Canelo will fight in September and then in December. It is very, very possible. And if Tiafimo Lopez does that, you know, he'll be getting his two fights in for the fiscal year of 2021. You know, um, Lope, um, looks like Loma is heading back to the ring. I mean, to do his interview, I'm guessing. Let's see who he talks to and what he, talk to, what he talks about. Here comes Rich. But it's wonderful. But that means then that Jump cut. you have to fast forward. Please subscribe, That's take your time out, like the video. Dre. This seems like it would be a winter 2022. Yeah, it could be. Does I that mean, mean Lomachenko would want something in between? It possible. I think, you know, Loma's always shown that he likes to stay active. He hasn't been active yeah, recently because of the injury. But I, I certainly believe that he would want to take another fight. 
That was impressive. Shame, shame on those who didn't and great talk about Vasily him. Lomachenko standing by. He's Shame with Bernardo. Vasily Lomachenko, Loma, you are back. What were you most happy about in terms of your performance tonight? Я очень, я очень рад, потому что я вернулся с победы, я закончил поединок, я сделал то, что было поставлено моей командой, моей стратегией было выстроено. Мы это сделали, достигли. Я победил и я снова в строю. I'm happy because I won. I won every all the strategies which we developed with my team. I reached all my goals. I reached everything. So I won, and now I'm back, back on track. Natalia Manu with the translation. In terms of what you came here to do, you said you wanted Masayoshi Nakatani because you wanted to prove something. What did you prove tonight? Sorry, okay. So everybody saw me, uh, everybody saw how I won, and uh, everybody uh, has been waiting for the rematch. So let's make a rematch. I spoke with Tio Lopez, who was here, the father, and he said the only condition is that it happened next after the Cambosos mandatory. How do you feel hearing that Teofimo Lopez will give you a rematch? Yeah, I understand. He, he has a, he has a uh, fight in the future with Cambosos, but after, how about after? Maybe next year, maybe the beginning of the year, uh, December, January, February. And you go. I'm, I'm waiting. You didn't know if they would be willing to give you a shot. You gave him an opportunity. You said, I want my opportunity to get my belt back. How do you feel now that you know that they are willing to give you that shot? Ну, ты понял, да, что, значит, э, они тебе, как ты чувствуешь себя по, тому, по, по поводу того, что они все-таки готовы дать тебе эту, этот шанс, чтобы ты сбро, сбросил вот еще вот этот матч? То есть, как ты себя чувствуешь, что они хотят, они готовы тебе дать эту, эту возможность? Конечно, я рад ему, если они готовы, если они э, готовы после своего поединка провести реванш, это то, что мне нужно, то, что мы хотим, то, что хотят все фаны бокса. Of course, I'm happy about it. If they if they're ready to give me a rematch after all that I've done, so after this fight, yes, of course, I am happy about this opportunity. Now, Masayoshi Nakatani, we knew how strong he was. We knew how big he was. How were you able to break him down the way you were? Значит, Масаёши на катании, мы знаем, какой он большой парень, высокий, насколько он сильный. Как тебе удалось его всё-таки всё-таки остановить? Ну, как бы его победить. У нас была стратегия работать вторым номером, потому что его рост, его длина рук не позволяла бы мне действовать первым. Я должен был действовать на контратаке, но и то, что у меня успешно получалось. Yeah, so we had the strategy to be uh, number two, number sec, uh, second. So I, because of his height, because of his uh, arm length, I wouldn't, uh, I couldn't be first. So the strategy was Damn, to counter punch, you know, to counter attack. So it wasn't the first. Vasily, we've seen fighters lose control when they get cut. It happened early in the fight. How were you able to deal with that cut that happened so early? I, I want to say big, big thank you, Ross Under, my cutman. It was a very good job from his side. He's professional, and he helped me won this fight. He did, but it was also your skill. You told us in the fighter meeting, my skill, my boxing IQ. You said in that loss, you gained something. You don't know how to lose. You've lost three fights in a total of 410 total. They always make you better. How were you better tonight? So you, you don't know how to lose. Значит, ты вообще не знаешь, как Those проиграть. Ты только из четырех десяти боев проиграл только три. То есть и как ты тогда сегодня себя чувствуешь? Ты все равно себя чувствуешь лучше. То есть ты опять победил. Конечно, я чувствую себя я, я чувствую себя очень хорошо. Я очень э, счастлив. Я счастлив, потому что я выполнил задачу своего отца, поставленную задачу. И ту стратегию, которая была выстроена, я ее придерживался, и она принесла нам победу. Поэтому я безусловно рад. 
of course I am happy. I'm happy because the strategy that we developed, it brought us the victory. So I was, I was keeping the strategy, I was following my strategy that my father developed and me developed. So and I reached my goal and I am happy about it. The left shoulder. After the Linares fight, you had surgery. Coming into the Teofimo Lopez fight, you needed surgery and you got surgery. How did it feel to be back in that ring at 100%? Сегодня было все хорошо, не было никаких проблем, потому что, в принципе, мне э, сложно было работать первым номером. Я работал всегда вторым, и я был все, все время сфокусирован и сконцентрирован на своей атаке, поэтому я контролировал практически э, всегда свое плечо и не давал ему резких движений. Today everything was just fine because he knows that I always had trouble to to be first, you know, and and I I've, I've had to um, have a strategy to be second. So, but I was focused. I was focused on my uh, counter punches. I was focused on my performance, and I kept everything under control. So everything was just perfect. You wanted to make a statement tonight with a victory like you accomplished Easy. against Nakatani. What is your message to Teofimo Lopez? Hey, please, win, uh, win your fight and make, make happen everyone. Thank you very much. Obviously, Teofimo Lopez wants the rematch, no doubt. But Selena Machenko feels he deserves it. All right, over to the Showtime pay-per-view I go. I'm sorry to wrap this up early, but we'll talk about it more in the post-fight show on Tistory Controversy. Take your time out, like the video. Please subscribe, fightview360.com.